and stuff. Do you love food? Yes. <laughs> food, right? Yes. Do you think you have to eat three meals per day? No, but I choose to. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good answer. So if you, not just about calling, like if you find yourself constantly reaching out for food, even after you feel full, this might be the story for you. So my first job with a small firm in LA, you know, sometimes, usually small firms entails unexpected, pleasant perks like free snacks, free soda, and free drinks after 5 p.m. It's a fun place to work for. And people are super nice, bringing some treats like donuts, cookies, and cupcakes. It's like somebody's birthday for Halloween, for Thanksgiving season, one reason after another. I remember there's always something to eat in the office. And before I know it, my hands are already reaching for food. And I remember I enjoyed every piece of treats, sweets, and snacks this country offered until my pants didn't fit anymore <laughs> and I had to shop for bigger size. Uh. But I don't think I'm the only person who have been there. You probably know, if, if it's not you, you probably know somebody. Come on, this is a country of abundance. This is the richest country where food is being wasted and the country rated with obesity, number one. So, after struggling quite a bit to find my size, especially when I visit Korea, the country where people are super skinny, okay, this is time to diet. What is my plan? Well, work out four times a week, and salad for lunch, and no sweet, no ice cream, no cookies. It goes well in the morning and during the lunch, that's fine. And it gets harder in the afternoon, especially you when know, you get stressed out from work, and especially when there's free food. <laughs> now you are at war with yourself. Should I eat them, or should I, shouldn't I? Well, maybe I can just eat a bite. Well, can buy is not that bad. But the real trick is, once you have a buy, you cannot stop. It's so good. And after one buy, like, you continuously eat them. But one day, one time, actually, I had a chance to travel to DC with my coworkers. The flight was early in the morning, so I was in a rush to head to the airport. So no, no time for breakfast. And as soon as I landed at the airport, I joined the team for a very intensive walking tour, just hitting every um, monu monument in the DC. Capitol Hill, the museums, and the White House, until we had a conference at 7 p.m., so it was a five hours of walk. And during that time, no food. So you probably think, once I get to the hotel, I feel starving. Actually, no. I felt energetic, and when my mind was so clear, well, of course, there was a time that I felt a little bit hungry during the day, but once I passed the time, it was like more than okay. That amazing experience actually made me question, well, should I really eat three meals? And definitely like snack throughout the day a couple times, do I need them? And dropping that idea that like I have to eat, actually it freed me up. Like no thought of a food and no more temptation. And then the feeling of energy and a clearer mind, I wanted to experiment. Okay, maybe like this, there is some, some answer to that. So I decided to apply. Maybe I can empty my stomach for 12 hours. So from 5 p.m. to 5 a.m. next morning, no food. Of course, it was a little bit hard at the beginning, but after that, like it gets easier. Your body get used to it. And then once I feel comfortable and confident, I increase one more hour. So from 4 p.m. through 5 a.m. next morning. And then one more hour, actually, 14 hours. So after 
that experience, I feel really good. And have you ever felt that like a cloud in your head after you eat too much? That is totally gone. And I actually found that there is a diet called intermittent fasting, which is more focused on when to eat rather than what to eat. And there are different ways to do that. Some people fast for about 16 hours per day, so they can only eat eight hours a day. Or some people do 24 hours of fasting per week. And there is a lot of benefits studied, like including including um, increasing insulin level, of oh, lowering insulin level, and increasing your um, growth hormone and the brain hormone, like that is related to your learning. So like there is a reason that I feel like I have a clear mind. But to be clear, I'm not here to preach you about intermittent fasting. Everybody's, every, everybody's body is different, and you better know about yourself. But I want to encourage each of you to think about attempt to empty your stomach for a certain time of the period of time. Carving out that time, in, um, counting intuitively, you are going to have less temptation to food. And when you actually pick food, you're going to be more cautious about what you're going to eat because this is a time you actually can eat and you can think about the nutrition you can provide during the time. So do you think you're living in a world with too much temptation? Then your attempt to fast empty your stomach might be a good way to remove the temptation and rebuild your relationship with the food.